Hey what's up here and welcome to Small Land Overview. I'm not totally sure if I would want to be transported into a world where you get miniaturized but the insects living there are your size. That literally seems like a horror scenario and you'll see what I mean. So Small Land is an adventure survival game where since the disappearance of the overland giants, the small folk once again emerge from their burrows and as their vanguard you need to venture out in the wilds to secure and discover this new hostile world. Long story short, pretty much everything in this project is kinda a hot mess and I've not seen in a long time a situation like that where the mechanics are not cooperating, the combat not connecting with what's going on, kind of wonky inventory system with picking up ingredients and even harvesting them. Maybe visuals aren't terribly bad, although it's a heavily stylized game with a certain vibe and ambience to come across, so even the models look relatively fine and realistic, but then again, it's it's hard to appreciate that when the gameplay is getting in your way. I don't know if going for the survival aspect was the right thing to do, cause you could easily peruse the environments, craft equipment and survive the wilds as they claim, but then you have a section with home base building which doesn't seem consistent with the whole dynamic. I mean, survival's aren't necessarily my thing. To me the whole project is still a bit early access with the optimization, so once few key mechanics will be fixed, then maybe it's gonna be relevant title of the store, <laughs> however, even the concept is kinda wild and I don't know who would even enjoy fighting with big ass ants and bees that once you literally demolish you. Let's discover the small land. That's a very slow turning. Oh, there's not much going on in the settings, okay. Some weird stuff is going on, like... An illusion of a wind, but... It looks very unnatural. The lightning is like... I don't know what's going on, this scene's painted on. I wear like a miniature version of... The insect world? So we have food. Some survival stuff. I like that it has statistics. What the? Hello, mate. Something feels off, like the soundtrack is not a part of the game. It's kind of like in the background, but not really being a part of. Oof, I don't like the graininess of textures here. They really fine-tuned his beard strokes and stuff. Okay. 
That seems like an arena. I mean, I understand the premise, but the 360 is just horrible. <laughs> Interesting theme. Who's here? Oh, ew. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I hate this! Get off me, cow! Jesus, it's so scary! And I would like the physics to actually connect. I would never play this outside of the overview. Do I have holsters on my shoulders though? Doesn't seem like it. Well, I could just do that. of stuff to pick up. Ugh. So it's a horror game. Nice. Yeah, I saw. It's interesting setting, like... I've not... seen... being used before, but... I don't know if I actually appreciate... <laughs> I don't have like a specific phobia for insects, but when they are your size, they don't seem that nice. <laughs> this just reminds me of the mask maker. Stable. Well, let's just firstly go there. Ah, I hope to look around. <laughs> the hell is this? I guess my home, but... What do I do here? The turning should be much faster.
How do I do that? This weapons. And then we have sections. This. The hammer is not even aligned with my hand. I mean, we can just eat what we've got, right? I'm not gonna waste my time for cooking. Can you go away? The interactions are very inconsistent, just like in combat. It's like backwards it works. <laughs> I'll get some food and then I'll go because... Not much is necessarily happening. It's like I'm asking for trouble. What will await me here? I didn't bring a pickaxe. Okay, that was it. <laughs> My man, there is nothing there. Well, I did. Ah. Oh. oh, I suppose someone was inside. Well, I'm not coming back. <laughs> Ladybugs. Well, at least they don't seem too aggressive. But I am.
Ew, like with the legs and stuff. The flora and fauna. That seems like a place for bees. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Unless they don't want to attack me. Okay, y'all are just chilling. What the <laughs> A surprise attack! Oh, can I throw things? Well, I don't think I should do that. And now you're too scared. <laughs> what the? The movements. Oh my god, the commotion. <laughs> That's what you get, Pi. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> There's some questionable stuff going on, like interactions aren't necessarily consistent with anything, really. <laughs> Graphics look a bit basic, but I guess they are sufficient for introducing you to the certain ambience oh now i'm dying i'm getting cold the hell <laughs> yeah because this is like a survival game but in a miniaturized world filled with insects and such i don't know i think i've seen <laughs> eat up Please go away. <laughs> Better execution in that specific genre. And then you have base building on top of that, so... It's kinda all over the place. Equipments are very thematic. They go with the environment and vibe. There's also something off-putting in the whole project, like... The hell? <laughs> Random stuff is happening here. Like the music doesn't feel part of the game at all. Something on the side and in the background that doesn't just connect. Combat very hit and miss. Much like gathering ingredients from the trees. I don't know, it kinda seems thrown together and not really thought through completely. 